Welcome to Jay's Way. Thanks for coming. Like and subscribe. Let's get right into it. I had an experience last night, and I've decided to take this experience and turn it into an educational opportunity for me, and I'd like to share it with you. Um, without getting into the specifics, because I really don't want to focus on that, I basically had a mutual friend between me and my ex who decided they felt it was appropriate to share a Facebook post that I had made with my ex and ask questions about it and why I was feeling this and that and whatever. And uh, um, my ex asked me why I posted it. I was actually very upset that somebody that calls themselves my friend would go to my ex to ask questions about me and what I'm posting instead of asking me. Why wouldn't they come and ask me? And you know what? I'm not going to lie. I'm still quite a bit bitter about it, but I have taken the opportunity to learn some things and I'd like to share it with you. I'd also like you to know that I'm doing this because it's helping me to understand what's going on. So, Divorce and losing friends. It's actually really difficult because in divorce you start to feel isolated and alone. You start to feel like, you know, everyone's kind of taking sides. And in some cases that's true, but in many cases it's not. And what I want to do is I just want to quickly articulate some of the reasons that our mutual friends within a marriage um, might have some difficulty talking to you. Uh, a lot of times, first off, let's just face the facts. And the fact is you're single and your mutual friends from your marriage are likely not single. In most cases, they're married couples. So it can just be awkward to have a single guy or girl wandering around the house while they're you know, having couples activities. <clears throat> so that's real and normal. Another thing is uh, that the couples themselves could have insecurities in their own relationship that make it difficult for them to have you around. In some cases, they're just not able to fully articulate within themselves the feelings that they're having within their own relationship because you and your spouse were a happy couple and everything was fine and now you're divorced. So they look at you and they say, it, it, it happened to them, it could happen to us. And if they do have some insecurities in their relationship, that it can be difficult to have you around. Let's also face the fact that it can just sometimes be hard to talk about difficult things. And some people are challenged with that. Another thing is some friends are kid related. In a family where you have children involved, you're probably going to oftentimes have friends that also have children and your, your children play together and hang out together. And in my case, my ex-wife has my children more often than I do, so it makes sense that some of my friends with kids would lean towards calling her and saying, hey, do you want to come over for dinner and hang out, you know, so the kids can play. That's just a regular part of things nowadays. There is also the reality that in some cases your mutual friends are just more supportive of one or the other, and that, that's a reality that we just have to face, have to understand. All these other reasons that I'm giving you will give you insight into the fact that that may not be the case. But it is possible that they're just plain old more supportive of your ex. Another really important factor that I'd like to bring up is information. You see, mutual friends only have the information that they receive. In my case, my ex is, and I am not in any way trying to fault her, but she's just more talkative than I am. And 
you know, she she's it's easier for her to reach out. So they get what information they get from her. And she is the upset, damaged, you know, she's angry. Okay. And so they're going to get some negative feedback from her about me. And that's okay. I'm not trying to disrespect that at all. But if they don't come to me and ask for my side or my perspective on the situation, or if I don't reach out to them to offer my perspective, then the only information they have is that kind of upset negativity that has come from your spouse. So if it's a friendship that you really want to keep, you can reach out to them and you can give them the information they need and offer them an opportunity to, to truly know what's going on. If it's not really that important of a relationship, then don't worry about it. But in some cases, your friends really should reach out to you if they're your friends. Now, in my case, I just wanted to take the higher road. I'm really not, you know, I'm not out there to disrespect anybody or start talking all negative all the time. So, and I'm not the most social butterfly, at least in comparison to my ex. So it's just kind of natural that they get more information from her side than they do from mine. So understand that. It is normal to lose friends and it hurts. You really start to kind of wonder why, you know, these people have not reached out to me. They haven't talked to me. They've made no effort to communicate and try to get my side, my perspective. But like I said, there's a lot of other circumstances that could be involved in the situation. So trust the Lord. Okay, that's the point I want to leave with you today. Just trust the Lord and put your faith in him and his will. And your true friends will stay your true friends. And your new friends will come to you. They only have the information. My camera fell down. <laughs> okay. <laughs>